We all need to unify on this. There is no benefit. It's only detriment. A rally to stop Big Choo Choo drew nearly a thousand concerned citizens to Flagler Park and Stewart, protesting against All Aboard Florida. I have never lived near a train in my life, and now living right next to where the train goes by all hours of the night, tooting its horn all hours of the night and morning. It drives me crazy. People are just not going to be able to get anywhere. And I think it's just going to ruin the way of life that we have here in a beautiful, quaint place. All Aboard Florida wants to run 32 passenger trains a day at speeds of up to 110 miles per hour from Miami to Orlando with no stops between West Palm Beach and Orlando. It's not just the quality of life that residents worry about, but safety as well. When a freight train comes from the north to the south and the bridge does not open, it doesn't lock down, which happens, all three and the only exits to the east are blocked completely. We are trapped. We have a huge public safety issue in that we cannot get to the folks that we take care of. How is it? that some people believe that having six, 60 or 70 trains running through their communities, 32 of them at 110 miles per hour, is, is a good thing. All aboard Florida will never be good for the residents of the Treasure Coast. The rally was sponsored by Florida Not All Aboard, a citizen's grassroots initiative working to educate the community about Big Choo Choo. If you don't live near the tracks, you're not a boater and not impacted. That's not right. You are all impacted. You know why? As our tax values go down, our tax base goes down, we have less money coming into our community. Martin County Commissioner Sarah Hurd says there are too many unanswered questions about All Aboard Florida. We need to get all kinds of information to find out who the regulatory agencies are that are going to be permitting and finding out what the deal breakers are. It is not a done deal. I'm convinced that there are, are things that we can do and that we must do. The All Aboard Florida website says traffic delays will be no longer than 60 seconds at each crossing and no taxpayer dollars will be spent. Congressman Patrick Murphy says that's not true. You know, All Aboard Florida has applied uh, for a, a RIF loan over a billion dollars, 1.2 to 1.6 billion dollars. That's taxpayer money. Uh, right now in this country, there isn't a single passenger train on a standalone basis that pays for itself, doesn't have some sort of a subsidy. So uh, I believe as prudent uh, folks and, and, and as a fiscal hawk, it's my responsibility to make sure they can actually pay that loan back. There are also costs associated with upgrading the train tracks and to create quiet zones. All information included in an environmental impact statement due out sometime in the next two months. A critical comment period follows, so time is of the essence. Margaret Mead once said, never think that a small group of concerned citizens can't change the world. It's the only thing that can. You ought to be making sure that everyone you know gets an email from you tonight that says, please sign this petition with a link to the petition. Right now, there are over 12,000 signatures on the petition. Sign the petition by going to floridanotallaboard.com and join the effort to stop Big Choo Choo in his tracks.